And uh, I met the real Uhura, the, the, the original oh, yes. Uhura. And uh, there was the two Uhura? Back yes. Uhura, you know. Star Trek. Star Trek. Uhura, Uhura. And, Can you uh, understand what he's saying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your accent is really Pardon? strong. I'm so sorry, I can't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What? I know. That is... I'm going to talk like you now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to get away from the, that no, kind of thing. No, but, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, but I remember when you didn't have such a strong accent. What? No, what? honestly. Where? In America. Well, I was maybe doing an American accent. Oh, that might be. <laughs> you were. You were. That goes like goes acting. Maybe it's that. <laughs> but it's fascinating, isn't it? Don't you think? Me, Because yes. you're Irish, <laughs> you're Scottish, you're English, and, and I'm posh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a picture of you at the Emmys. There you are, being graduated oh, by Alexander Skarsgård. You are uh, so provocative, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you showing that? It's a lovely moment of celebration, I Nicole. I kissed my husband, well, too. Yeah. Well, there he is right there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Keith is applauding the kiss. He's <laughs> Good kiss. Yeah, yeah, good kiss, guys. Good kiss. Well done, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm... Oh. I did kiss him because... But, but you got to understand, I did everything with Ali. I'm like, you know, that... We that, saw it. <laughs> I'm back and off. I've got an amazing, <laughs> supportive, gorgeous husband who I love more than anything yeah, in the yeah. world. And, and I was... gave Alex yeah. a congratulatory kiss and he's like a, a mannequin. Yes. <laughs> Ellie, <not> a mannequin. <laughs> And we've got a great picture of the two of you together. It's like diva squared. Oh, wow. Was that, <laughs> was that before? That's before. That's before, yeah. yes. That's wow. the first time you met her, right? Yeah, yeah, we had had dinner together at her house. Yeah, of course you had. This guy's my friend. Oh, I've eaten her dinner. Easy. Um, <laughs> I'm interested, though, because how does this story resonate with you, Lady Gaga? Because you did want to be a star from very little. I hold you in this. This looks like someone pretending to be Lady Gaga. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. That is my attempt at Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, yes. How old are you there? I think I must be 10. Wow. 10 but does it, it looks like a Lady Gaga impersonator, doesn't it? It looks like, yeah, it looks like a little girl. I'm being Lady Gaga yeah. for Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you grew up to be Lady Gaga. And talking <laughs> of uh, young stars, uh, how old are you here, Bradley? Oh, <laughs> my gosh! How <laughs> cute! <laughs> <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> I shaved the beard off. It took years off me. Uh, oh my gosh, look at that bow tie. Uh, I don't know. I think that was my birthday. I think maybe three or something. Oh. Yeah. How did that picture get out in the world? How do we know what. Uh, I, I, my mom uh, sends pictures out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? It's no, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that got out there. Now, here's a great picture. This is uh, Jody, Jody Whitaker. I don't know when this was, but were you going for kind of an 80s pop star look? I think here we are. <laughs> oh. 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 It's a bold choice, guys. It's a bold choice. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can't quite see from that, but I've got tips and they match the pink stripe. Oh, actually, got, I can, got, I'm up close. Yes, you can see. Yeah, There's a kind of a... Pink tips wow. in my hair. Yes. I, I wasn't going for, I mean, it That's was the 80s. Full on. So I was, I was just method. <laughs> <laughs> Were you like a really young aerobics instructor? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was. Job. But I, I, thought, I thought I was ace. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, don't take it away from me. <laughs> and Ryan, you do have a connection, a, a, a kind of a weird intro to show business via, was it your uncle, I believe? Yeah, that's right. So he. <laughs> <laughs> So, was your uncle living with you? Yes. <laughs> and did you walk into the room once? <laughs> I, I walked into the room once and he was um, um, bedazzling a, uh, a sequined white jumpsuit. And he, and he said that he was going to be Elvis for a little while. And, I, and, 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 you know, would I like to help? And, and uh, <laughs> he said, absolutely. What do, you, what do you need me to do? So I became his head of security. <laughs> and he got my whole family in on the act. My mother was a backup singer, and um, honestly, it was one of the greatest performances I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been sincere. I mean, it was—it was really affecting. 
No, no, he, yeah, he, I mean, what I admired about what he was doing was that he looked nothing like Elvis, you know? And, <laughs> He didn't attempt to. He had a mustache and very little hair. And, um, but my God, he just he just became him. And uh, you know, he would end every show with uh, suspicious minds. And he would get on his knees and 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 often with tears in his eyes, he would he would sing to some imaginary woman and beg her not to leave. And. Oh. We were transported from this mall in my small town in, <laughs> in Ontario to, to, to that. I imagine it was a kitchen, and she was trying to leave. And we were just in that moment every night. And it was, it was incredible and, and, and honestly one of the best like, <laughs> acting lessons I've ever, I ever had. Yeah. I wish but, I could have helped out with those sequins. Yeah. <laughs> I could have used a little. I would have liked that. How old were you at when you were doing security? I want to say six. <laughs> So it's been, quite quiet in the mall. water guns? Yeah. <laughs> I just had two tiny guns. <laughs> Wait, so there's no photo? No. Oh. I, painted, I painted a picture, Bradley. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no photo. Oh. There's lots God. of young Ryan pictures out there. I'm yeah. Googling just later. Google. <laughs> and you're right, Claire is so good in it. Yeah, it's so, fantastic. So good in it. But uh, yeah, but you, you've said how there are some kind of little tricks you use, like the, for the, the voice. You have a little trick for the voice. Well, I'm um, Mancunian uh, originally, and the only thing I've kept is how I pronounce one, which is I say one. <sighs> <laughs> which is completely wrong and uh, it took me a about five months of just drilling of mm. going wan as opposed to wad uh, <laughs> I still sit every once in a while Matt had his own whole situation with was and because and all this sort of stuff um, but but wan I'm, I'm losing it already I can already feel, feel her going no, um, <laughs> um, but I'm, yeah but I really had to just every, every time before doing a take I'd be like wan 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just to get it in there. It's, it's so weird. It's, it's, it's so bizarre. It's the weirdest blooming voice. It's so it's hard. To and do. it's still weird. You know, I mean, when she does the afternoon speeches at Christmas, it's like going back in time. You just go, mm. how does anyone still speak like that? It's Maybe extraordinary. Maybe she does the same thing. Maybe she one, doesn't. One. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, high achieving, high achieving couch. Everyone on the couch has done so many things, but Elizabeth Banks, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you, is still, to my knowledge, the only guest we know who has invented their own board game. Oh uh, no, uh, <laughs> we, we played this last time, so we thought, well, yeah. we'll, you know, well, let's make it a tradition. Uh, we'll we'll play around. Oh! So um, I give you. This is Elizabeth Banks' board game. It's on real. On yeah. it's real. Okay, it's real. This is real. On but real. just to be clear, this was before like the internet happened. I mean, truly, this is. <laughs> well, this is unveiled a yeah. party game what and guide for bachelorettes. That's right. What it's do you mean? This before the internet? I just mean it's you know I, it, this was at a time when I was going to a lot of hen parties. That's what you call them here, right? Mm -hmm. Bachelorette yeah. parties and felt like we needed to actually sort of organize them around something, and this game came out of that. OK. Yeah. And we've selected a few uh, questions from... OK. Oh, yeah. I'm already you... nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you, so you, be, is... you be quiz master. You... OK, oh, I'll God. be quiz master. So this okay. is a combination. There's... The, oh you, God, you're, you're meant fun. to play this with your friends out at the bars, right? right. When, you, when, when you're a bachelorette. <laughs> okay. you Bachelor, bachelorette. Oh, oh, can I just say, so don't, do, don't do the spit swallow question you did last time. What? Oh. I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing. No. So you not, have not sometimes, in time. <laughs> sometimes you have to do something involving someone else, and sometimes you have to do something just for yourself, and it's a, sort of like truth or dare. Okay. okay? Sure. So that's sort of what the game is about. So, um, for instance, <laughs> all right, um, I'll go to <laughs> Kylie. No, I know. No. I mean, wait, wait, okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, uh, this is a good one for you. No, okay. just do it for Kylie. No, because you're loved up, right? Mm -hmm. You're loved up. You have oh, a partner. Oh, God. All right. So the question here, this is a say question, which means she has to tell us what she would say. So the question is... I've stopped breathing. <laughs> <laughs> also, not by law. You don't have to, really. Yeah. <laughs> He's not in charge. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to do this. You know? The exits are looking good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, this is actually a very nice, it's this nice thing. Thank you. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. How do you signal to a partner that you want to have sex? Unbelievable. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> like an insect? <laughs> Signal! 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 Signal!
scent of a buzz up. <laughs> Just say pass, say pass, say pass, say pass. Okay, could, that's the good one. Oh, yeah, that's well, the easy yeah. question. Okay, now, Are really? You... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> one for, do one for Ricky, and then... All right, yeah. Ricky. I'm not going to answer. <laughs> you had great answers for that one, by the yeah. way. You yeah. honked the bell. I got it. Yeah. I thought that was really good. Okay, this one's called The Name Game. Right. <laughs> what have you named your private parts? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> uh, Pamela and the boys. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. Um, Actually, you all right, no, Pamela no. and her sons. Yes. <laughs> this isn't. This is a really nice one for you, Graham. Ready? Yes. What song? What song mm -hmm. always puts you in the mood? Oh, S Club 7, Reach. <laughs> he had it ready. He had it ready. He knew. Boom. <laughs> final one. I'm, oh, okay, final one, okay. Final one, final one. Um, oh, this is perfect for you, Kylie. Okay. All right, are you ready? Yeah. It's called, <laughs> it's called Sexy Singer. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's ideal. Find an unattractive male and <laughs> serenade him. <laughs> A quick little line of a song. Quick little line of a song. Little, no, I mean I need to. Well, no, just look, look up, look up, and then <laughs> I mean, people, people can imagine who you're singing to. <laughs> That's how you signal. I mean, will you play the role for me? Go on then. I'll try and make okay. yourself make, look up. Try to bigger. make yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what can I sing? Um... Oh, I should be so lucky. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. I got one. You can sing my backup. Okay, okay. I was just going get a leg on it. <laughs> you don't remember me, but I remember you. <laughs> it was not so long ago. You broke my heart in two. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Well done, Kylie. Thank you for being nice on there. Olivia, with Broad Church, presumably your kind of level of recognition has gone up. You must get recognised all the time now. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, I know where you're going, yes. Yes. Well, that, uh, do tell them. Mm, I hope my mum's not watching. <laughs> but, um, there was a slight road rage incident. And um, you know those crossings where they're absolutely... I don't know if it's the same rules apply, but um, they're not staggered, they're straight crossroad thing. Okay. I mean, you're I turning have no right. idea what you're talking about, okay. but keep going. <laughs> so you turn right, you have to turn in front of each other, not behind each other on a staggered crossing. Do you know what I mean? No! Does anyone know what I mean? So, 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 no, yeah, don't. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you've got to go behind each. No, That's you've got to go not, in no, front. I had to go in front because it was a, it was you a had to go in front of each other. thing. Yes. Okay. So this woman was coming towards me and wanting to go right, her right, and I was going right. So I, I turned to go in front of her, and she went, and as if I had tried to drive into her. And I thought, okay, well, there's no one else coming, so I'll just, to keep her happy, I'll do what's wrong, but I'll go behind her. And she was doing that in the in the car. <laughs> And it was starting to really piss me off because I was right and I was helping her out. And then I suddenly got this red mist. Just as our cars were coming next to each other, I suddenly went, fuck you! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and just as she was doing that, she went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, Miriam Margulies, is this it now? Have you been banned from daytime television? <laughs> well, I said twat or twat. <laughs> you know, and apparently it's one of the worst things you can say. Is it? Yeah, but well, they sent me a list of the things... And you uh, memorised it. Well... <laughs> The word on it was one I had never heard of. I don't know if you have. What, what was it? it? It was Munter. <laughs> Munter. 
Have you ever heard of that I, word? I, I have spell heard it. of it. M U N T E R. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where it originates from, but I think it means an unattractive woman. Or oh, I don't know. It was oh, gender it specific. I think it can be. I think oh, it can oh, be either. Nah. I think it or, can be both. Yeah. I've never heard okay. of that. Well, Did has anybody heard it in the audience? Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, lovely crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've all been called that. <laughs> yes. What was, the, what was the TV show? It was called This Morning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. But actually, Sharon Horgan, you've yeah. had a daytime television experience. Yeah, I dropped a carrot on Sunday brunch and I said, shit! Um, Is that a trouble. euphemism? Dropped a carrot. No, I did. Obviously, you know, you, you dropped a carrot, dropped some of it, and, and got frightened and said, shit. But was it in catastrophe that your mother didn't like all the swearing? No, I think my mother was fine with the swearing in catastrophe. I did an interview uh, once, and the journalist said that I used the C word. Carrot. Can I, carrot. <laughs> <laughs> that I, I said carrot quite a lot. Quick. And she. <laughs> exactly. It was so quick. No wonder you're our favourite guest. <laughs> Talk amongst yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yes. she just she just <laughs> didn't enjoy that. I just blame the journalist. Uh, <laughs> now, Daniel Radcliffe, presumably you are familiar with uh, Miriam's potty mouth because, uh, or, or well, are you? Because I, you, were, you were in Harry Potter, but did you actually work together? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, we absolutely. did. But I don't remember. I've been told there was a swear jar involved on set, but I I can't remember that. I don't. You remember you swearing a lot in front of. I when was I probably think... careful when it was you, okay. but when <laughs> you know with the other kids, I didn't bother. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. <laughs> yeah. I was just talking backstage, if that's what you call that funny little grubby, right, grubby area. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, it's 20 years since Harry Potter came out. So, the, since we started filming the, the first, the first one. one. And your yeah. balls have dropped since then, <laughs> I can tell you that. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a relief to us all. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> no, because they're just wee kids, then. We get it, yes. <laughs> 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 It's just, yeah. But but it's interesting because for Professor Sprouse, which you know you were in the second film and the last film. Yeah, I should have been in all of them. Yes. And that was a grave oversight, and I I'm holding them. you responsible. I told them. <laughs> but anyway, it was wonderful to be in the two that I was in, yeah. and I'm very proud of it. But you do get recognised as Professor Sprouse. I do. I I mean I think I've changed since then, but people do recognise me. And uh, funnily enough, in Lithuania, <laughs> I was. <laughs> Lithuania. Are you <laughs> Are you, have you come just to see Professor Sprout? <laughs> I don't think so. Are the films called Professor Sprout and the Deadly Halogen? <laughs> no, but I was mobbed in Lithuania. Maybe because I was Jewish. I don't know. I'm the only one there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> stop, stop cheering now. <laughs> It was a big year, 2016. It wasn't just the two of you getting those medals. It was a very star year. And it was also the year, it was kind of the peak of the mannequin challenge. Do you remember the mannequin challenge when people would <laughs> strike a pose and da, da, da? And somebody did the mannequin challenge with all of you in a room. I don't know if you remember this. We've got the footage here. It's lots of really famous people. There's Diana Ross. And they're all doing it. They're all doing it. Um, I think that's... Bit, uh, where are we? There's Bill Gates. <laughs> Uh, that's you. That's look. Oh, Bruce is doing it very well. Pointing the finger, very good. Ellen DeGeneres, Tom Hanks, uh, Rita Wilson's here somewhere. There's Rita Wilson. But where is the world's greatest living actor? He'll be brilliant at doing the mannequin challenge, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so bad. <laughs> do you still do the crowd surfing? I do. I mean, my, my music, as you could tell, is, is not considered especially rock and roll. Um, but to make up for that, I, I crowd surf. <laughs> and and, and, and not, always very, not always very successfully. So the first time, I haven't seen anyone crowd surf. For the first time, I was in Barcelona. I ran, I jumped, the crowd parted. <laughs> Like uh, Red, the Red Sea and Moses, and I hit the deck. My friends were there thinking, what an idiot. <laughs> the second time I did it in uh, Asheville, North Carolina, I broke my finger. It is, uh, oh, and, oh, I, really and I fought my way back onto the stage, hit, um, hit the piano, hit the wrong note, 
I realised my finger was pointing the wrong way. My <laughs> guitar technician handed me a guitar and I said, I think I've broken my finger. And he said, he's Glaswegian. Oh, you, you've got nine others. <laughs> <laughs> um, the stories go on. Chicago. I jumped off a 12-foot stage and I hit the deck. I'm running towards the crowd and the security guard didn't realise who this little man was <laughs> and smacked me down to the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I was shouting, but I'm the... <laughs> I'm a singer! I'm a singer! <laughs> Other security guards had to peel him off and, <laughs> and, and the band laughed. And my worst moment was I was playing Glastonbury, the main stage, the pyramid stage. I'll say there are 80,000 people in the audience for the sake of the story. Um, <laughs> and for a moment there, I got out and I jumped down and I crowd surfed and for a moment I was the rock star that I've always wanted to be. And I got uh, my, right my way back to the stage and I realised the stage was too high for me to climb up onto. <laughs> and I looked up at, onto the stage and there was a stranger there. I looked at him and I said, you know, help me. <laughs> and I realised he was the BBC TV cameraman. <laughs> and I was looking down the barrel of the lens, saying to the nation, help me. <laughs> and I secured my place as the least cool musician in rock and roll history. Have you found so? <laughs> yeah. I have crowd surf. The trick is, they are supposed to catch. Because, <laughs> Matt, when you were doing stand up, I mean, that audience interaction is so kind of intense. It's terrifying. I mean, yeah. there's nothing, there's nothing you do about it. And in, in your book, you, you uh, talk about a gig. I think, was he Irish, the guy in the audience? Oh, yeah. Well, I, was it Colin Farrell? I had. <laughs> I must apologise if I am going to tell you about this because I can't really do an Irish accent very well. I can do three Irish accents badly, so I don't know which one I'm going to do yet in this story. My ability's can... getting worse as well than I <laughs> yeah. I can do. I can do the really like you know the really old fashioned sort of finny. Oh, hey, me leprechaun! I can do that. That's not very good. I can do. Uh, I can do. I was in boy zone. <laughs> and then I can do that one. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's Irish. No, I, 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 yeah, I write about this in the book. So I, uh, I started doing stand-up comedy when I was 18 years old, and uh, one of my, it was quite early on. I was probably only about 19, <clears throat> and I was doing a gig, and there was a guy in the audience who was just heckling everybody and every comic was going down badly. And I realised, and it was, you know, I had this routine that I'd worked on, but I realised there was no way I would be able to do this routine. So I got up on stage and instead, um, I just made my entire routine that night about him. And I basically really humiliated him from the stage. <laughs> and the audience, I don't think I was particularly funny, but the audience, there was such relief because this guy had been terrorising every act on the bill, including the compare. Um, and if, if, if the compare can't control the room, you really are in trouble. <laughs> and um, so I was there and I was like the hero of the hour. But then when I got off stage, he came up to me and he was about six foot five. <laughs> and he was this big and he went, that was funny, that. That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I'm going to take you outside. I'm going to beat the bollocks out of you. <laughs> and I went, oh, my gosh, it was just a joke. He went, no, I'm just playing with you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> you humiliated me here in front of my wife. I'm going to take you outside and give you a taste of your own medicine. I went, oh my god, no, I really, I was just mucking about. I was just, I was just, ah, I'm just joshing with you. And he just went back and forth. <laughs> and, forth. and I had to be escorted out oh, the venue. Man. To the station. She's here tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> OK, it is time for music. Uh, this man has two top end albums. Two. I'll start that again. Yeah. Yeah, bad reading. Unbelievable. I know. How long have you been doing this? 21 <laughs> years. You don't care anymore, though, do you? No. The money just rolls in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should cut it out. <laughs> I think that people should know... That I can't read. Yeah. <laughs> Rather brave, I think, to continue. Yeah. <laughs> despite, despite not being able to read. Carry on. <laughs> oh. Is it because you can't see and you won't wear glasses because you're vain? No, no, I can see that. Right. Right. <laughs> Good. So, uh, Good. Right, it's time for music. This band has two top ten albums. Now, I see I, I messed it up again. <laughs> Do <laughs> top ten albums. It's hard to say, yeah. but you, the rowing thing is true. Yeah, it is true. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, I you were probably good at it. That's why. That's why I went to the university was to do that and nothing else. All of this, 
you know, la di da stuff. You know, that was. Uh, woof! Just that was an, woof! That was Look, woof. No wonder I fell for you. That was the. Ton of bricks. I now did. that was the. Um, the American Olympic pair. That was the year that the Americans boycotted the Moscow Olympics. Oh, so they had nowhere to go except the Henny Regatta, and we raced against them, and they trounced us. <laughs> um, Check out the size. Yes, the legs are very impressive. And I, and I noticed you went for a slightly shorter short. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously thought, these are working for me. Oh, uh... <laughs> yes, that was uppermost in my mind. Uh... <laughs> See, Robert, do you feel like you missed out not doing all of this? I, f I feel like I was there, because your stories don't match up at all, so oh, I can no. just project <laughs> whatever I want. <laughs> did you, get, did you guys ever have a little nookie or anything? <laughs> He's got, he's got it on a card. He's, he's got, got it, it on yeah, let's go to the nookie card. card. I've got some pictures. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think we've got a picture of you, Ooh. the year you were nominated for the King's Speech on the red carpet. Really? Look, at, look at Helena's thrilled <gasps> face. <laughs> No, you, I don't know. You, you've just superimposed that. No, no. We've, no there are multiple pictures. And what's so funny is there are multiple pictures, and we thought, oh, oh maybe yeah. we've picked an unfortunate picture. No, your face is like that in them all. <laughs> 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 I've got a good judgment, obviously. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was way before he became Donald Trump, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We know what you mean. Yeah, we know yeah, what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. You love this job, don't you? I love it. And did you... I mean, you actively, actively canvassed to be in Call the Midwife. I went down on a lot of people to get that <laughs> <laughs> Time well spent. <laughs> Not true. They all got out from under. <laughs> <laughs>